Now's the time to just ask some questions while we wait, though. <clears throat> For real, though. Yeah, open up the questions. Let's see. Mm. Somebody asked about um, Matthew 3, 8 through 10. Yeah, 3, 8 through 10. And okay. Let's turn that. I'll read it. I have it pulled up. Therefore, produce fruit worthy of repentance. I do not think that you can say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you that from these stones, God can raise up children of Abraham. Already the axe is laid at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not produce good fruit is cut down. <clears throat> so in this context, it's very context heavy. Uh, we have our father Abraham. He means that literally, like via lineage. He's basically saying, th this, was the, this is actually the issue that we brought up before. If you think that you need to be a convert in order to achieve salvation that's all the wrong reasons and that's not true um and it, likewise if you being a natural born jew rely solely on your status as a born member of the of uh, of an israelite tribe well that's also not exactly true right so that's what he's saying here right you have something to add to that um well yeah actually because <clears throat> This is something Paul also addresses, uh, let's see, in Galatians, specifically in the example of, ah, right, Galatians 4, uh, starting in verse 21 and going through verse 31, right? We're, we're getting the comparison between the, the son born to Hagar and the son born to Sarah, right? Mm. The son born yeah. to the slave woman, the son born to the free woman. Um, and so, you know, he, he, Paul says that the son born to the slave woman uh, came about by natural means. But the son born to the free woman, you know, was of the spirit. It was of the will of God. Uh, well, so was, was Isaac a virgin birth? Is that what Paul is saying? Um I don't, I don't think so. I, I think it's pretty well accepted that uh, that Isaac also came about by natural means, um, at least in terms of the biological way that that works. But Sarah was well beyond her years of childbearing. So it is actually still a miracle, still by the will of God. And this is something that carries through, right? This carries over through all of the patriarchs. Um and it's it's fascinating the way that that works right this is this is uh this is it seems right it, it it's and this has been brought to my attention before for a long time it seems like the second born actually has like a a, a ton of precedence you know isaac is is abraham's second born technically like if, we, if we're if we're speaking literally isaac would be his second born um Ishmael would have been his firstborn. Uh, and then to Isaac, Jacob would have been his secondborn, right? Not e Esau would have been his firstborn. But Jacob is the one who gets the precedence here. Why? And the reason is the reason is because um, that that can't be claimed by the father, right? In as much as it is a biological lineage, it's only a biological lineage because of the will of God, right? Uh, Abraham can take credit for Ishmael. Abraham can look at Ishmael and say, that's mine, right? I did that. Uh, but Abraham could not look at Isaac and say, I did that, right? Because Isaac only happened by the will of God. By the same token, and I've explained this before in other episodes, uh, Isaac could look at Esau and say, that's mine. I did that, right? He could take credit for Esau because... If you're a twin, as insensitive as this may sound, uh, if you're if you're the twin, if you're the one who who was born second, you were not planned. <laughs> <laughs> you came about solely as a result of the will of God, right? <laughs> so 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 Isaac could look at Esau and say, "That's mine. I did that. I made that. I he can take credit for that." Isaac could not take credit for Yaakov. Yaakov came about solely as a result of the will of God. So even though it is a biological heritage, it is only so because of the will of God. All right. So uh, and that, now that parable is actually 
exclusively talking about two different types of Gentiles. I do want to get that out of the way. Sure. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one Gentile, son of the slave woman, is the one who converts, right? He achieves it by his own means. And the other one relies on, on, the, on the miraculous uh, will of God, essentially. Uh, and so he doesn't feel the need to convert. That's, that's sort of the parable. Well, it's, but, uh, it's, well, again, the idea there is that one's relying on the biological heritage at that point. Yes. And the yeah. other is relying on the fact that the will of God is what made the biological heritage. Right. It's, yeah. 